you won't really think about it. It's like, oh my god, that's a thing now. I mean, you see the Twitter combos, I'm like, ah, yeah, that, that's a Twitter combo. It's not true. They, they probably didn't test DI. And Charlie opting to go for the Lucina <laughs> game one. Dirty. This was his day one main. I mean, you know what? For a day one main, not a bad pick. Yeah. This was, uh, Lucina's a really disgusting character. You know, it's uh, historically not very good against it. I mean, historically, uh, if you look to like five minutes ago with K9, you know, he seemed to be doing pretty well in that matchup. Yeah, but K9 also died at zero. Well, like a 50. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, stuff. Ooh, missing out. Got the end of the down. down oh. zone. My my friend tried to pull off the Xbox Live special, the the forward smash to up B. Mm -hmm. That that was a smash four tech right there. That oh was. My God. Oh my gosh, got him with the heavy down tilt dodge him again. But he stalled it out so they didn't kill. And there's a sour spot there. Charlie having a little bit of a hard time getting in. Dead. Ooh. Honestly, not pulling the trigger on the forward smash after he gets near one. And you know what? He's going to pay for it because the heavy down tilt combos into that Tatsu. There was nothing that Charlie could do from that. Yeah, and uh, and throwing out these all these uh, Hadoukens. They're like, it, it, that's kind of like the saving grace in this matchup. Lucina has to respect that projectile. Right. And like, you can't really just kind of throw out bears willy-nilly. Right. I mean, if you look at you know, Ryu and Ken from their base games, you know, Ryu has always been the, the projectile heavy character. You know, he's always had the better fireballs, but Ken has like that rush down. Yeah. So I feel like that was very reflected well here in Smash, because in Smash, you know, you have to worry about fireballs, and uh, both were variations of fireballs, too. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of weird, because in Street Fighter, Ryu is a traditional zone. Yeah. And in this game, he's more of a powerhouse. Like, I mean, in this game, he only has one projectile, two, technically, if you want to count uh, the, the Chuck and Nets. Yeah. So, the red fireball. Oh, getting hit by too many uh, aerials. Oh, I like that. Oh, he actually Ooh. made it. Too. You know, that was an amazing trip on the cancel from the focus. Yeah. Very hard to do. Launch gap into for you. That proc jab honestly made Ryu like, like they took out a lot of Ryu things in Smash 4, but that proc jab was like a solid buff for the character. And that Ryu proc jab made the character. Oh, that, that proc <laughs> jab pretty much defines the character in this game. Yeah. And it's still buggy. <laughs> hey, it's buggy I mean, and it's still good enough to be good. I mean, imagine if he had Nair trains. You, into Prox Jab. Oh, not, not even a Prox Jab, because Nair Train's led into Dare. Yeah, but you could also Nair Train into Prox Jab into Shoryu. You. Oh my god. That'd be worse. Oh. <laughs> oh lordy, lord, lord. I don't want to think about that timeline. Yeah, like, if, if this, if you could combine both these characters, like old Ryu and new Ryu, it'd be kind of disgusting. Because... Just take all the best parts of old Ryu and put them with new Ryu. Oh, lordy, lord, lord. Like, that, that is terrifying right there. That is a thing of nightmares and a thing that Ooh, Shoto characters like that. dream about in their, like, like ideal situations. It could, like, remember, Ken and Ryu could be a lot worse. Their Shoryu can could be an invincible frame one. It wasn't invincible frame one in four, was it? Yes, it was. No. It was invincible frame one through four. Oh, there's Shoryu. I was thinking of Hadoken. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. It's not in this game. It's, it's not, but I mean, you don't really use it as like an anti or often you use it more as a combo tool or a combo finisher. So you don't really need the invincibility. No, it was just a, it was, I got comboed, I sure you can, then I won. Right. I won the game for it. Also, great. Oh, yeah. But now, like, back to this game, like, Wolf is also a disgusting character. These characters kind of have, like, similar, like, goals in mind. Oh, and that tops are connected. Even though he couldn't travel any further, it still hit him off stage. Yeah. Actually, he couldn't even go down. Dash attack. Or it's all not getting him. Back throw, off stage was going to do. 
Ooh, almost catching that high recovery with the Nair, but you know what, just not gonna catch it in time. Ooh. Charlie throwing out too many hitboxes for Nito to like actually deal with it with focus. Right, and Nito pulling back on the trigger right there, not snapping the ledge, thinking that his drift might be able to catch him the rest of the way, but that's not gonna work out for him. Throwing out focus maybe a little too much. And now Charlie's gonna catch the ledge. I mean, if you're Ryu at this percent, you're looking for anything. You're looking for jab, jab, Shoryu. You're looking for proximity jab, Shoryu. And now, down tilt to heavy down tilt. I feel like down tilt, heavy down tilt, Tatsu isn't going to quite go at this percent. Why did he do it? He did it because he can, and he knew that would connect. I mean, what's, he like, already committed to side B, so he couldn't air dodge. He but, was unavoidable at that point. But why? <laughs> He had the stock lead, and he wanted to send a message. <laughs> he didn't need to do it to him. But why? Okay, I'm sure. Let's go. Game three, people. Charlie, I feel like, is one of the ballsiest guys just to go for... He'll he'll do that on a last stock situation if he thinks it'll kill. Yep. You saw him. You saw him almost beat Meister with that combo. Ew, he's playing Vegas theme. Ew, Vega. I mean, there there could be worse themes. No, no, the theme's not bad. I just hate. Do you hate Vega? I hate Vega. Uh, if you ever played Street Fighter, you'd understand. The character's gross. He kind of just bounces around the whole entire stage. Don't even know where the hell he's going. Ah, but we are game one. You know, both players are super explosive. You know, Whoa. we're already at kill percent for both players. Charlie did it, that. It is to 20 me. seconds, and they're already almost at 100% each. That that double wolf flash. Charlie's done that to me, and he clipped it, and he was proud of it. Oh, disgusting. He, but then he got up tilted and died because that's the nature of this character. I feel like the nature of this matchup is you know, who can kill each other faster. You know, it's a really slugfest. And he tried rolling away, but Nito just said, nah, I'm gonna continue this down tilt. And the true hit of the, or the strong hit of the side beat killing Nito off the top right there. Charlie, yeah. disgusting with those kill confirms. Just knows, oh, got landed the Nair. He's gonna die to Wolf Flash this time. And he beats the GI so well. Like, he's probably the best player at that. Oh, that oh, Nair! There. That Nair was <laughs> such a good reverse edge guard from Nito right there. I have not seen that one before. Oh, that's a good Nair, too. And I love what Charlie King is doing, because I feel like he's the only wolf that actually goes off stage to get the Nair, like, edge guard. You don't really see other wolves do that. They see them more like, I'm going to charge down smash that ledge, or I'm going to try forward tilt your recovery. You know, Charlie's just like, I don't want to let it get to that point when I can kill you right now. So I'm going to nair you and then just take your stock guaranteed. Because what are you going to do, air dodge? Yeah. Well, like, oh, it, it's usually better to do that, but because of how bad Cannon Ryu's recovery is, it's honestly just a better option to go off stage. Sometimes. Oh, and there's the up beam to beat out focus. Who gets the punish on the landing of the stage, but there's an air, gets the tech, gets death. another air, that's death. That is oh, death. Yeah. No, it's not. He was able to barely get it back with the Tatsu. He was too low. Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Both. <laughs> Charlie. A panic attack. Charlie's just like my life flash, my life flash before my eyes. There were, there were so many opportunities for both players to die right there. Yo, and the that is popping off. Oh my god. What is this? Uh, looks like... Oh, this King of Fighters, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's playing Terry. <laughs> All right, but game four here and grand finals of Smash. Here we go, just trapping him on the ledge with all these fairs and tries rolling, but you know, he catches that option too. And I feel like Charlie's just bullying him into Ooh, the corner. Shoot. Almost got him. For it. Man, Nito, like, kind of stole that second stock from Charlie, and Charlie stole one. Dude, he's so, he's done that twice today. 
like just challenged Wolf Flash went there and it's beating it out. Why? I mean that stinky leg be super stinky apparently. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, Alright, gets the punish on the Tatsu. Yeah, you can't keep throwing that out. Oh. 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 oh no! You know, I was worried about Charlie doing this earlier. He thought he would get the trade on the, the down air to, you know, pop himself back up, but unfortunately getting a fastball and you know Wolf does not have the best uh, distance on his up B, so it's going to SD right there, even though Nito was already dead. Yeah, Charlie realizing that his character can still punish Tatsu. And I love the use of the up B to break through focus right there. Yeah, getting catching on the habit a little bit uh, too many times. Because, right. I mean, he's so used to getting juggled with up air that, like, focus is like, okay, it's a single hit move. I can break through it with down B. And then Charlie's just like, you know, I can go for that too many times. I'm going to catch on to it. But almost getting the jab lock on the jab right there. Yeah, the, the, the weak forward tilt. The weak box forward tilt. Oh, yeah. and you that? cannot shield that. But oh. does not go for any additional damage. And Charlie will barely make it alive to the skin of his teeth. He's just, just throwing out down smash in neutral because <laughs> he knows he can't. You have to respect it. Dude, that that down smash in neutral to like Tatsu or even up B. Oof. Or it's a uh, crescent kick. kick. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's almost like he has a game and watch down smash now. Yeah. You just see him throw it out. You'd be like, well, I guess we're playing this game. Yeah. yeah and Tatsu into jab, jab, three. <coughs> now this is even stocks. You no, know, can Charlie close Grand Finals out right here, or is Vito going to bring it to a game five? Uh, looking, looking pretty good for Vito right now. Until he got hit a few times. So now Charlie just got, kind of got all the momentum. I mean, like it is not hard for Ken to make up the sandwich. Look at that. He's already halfway there. He just needs one more combo and then one more neutral interaction. After that, he gets a kill. But he fell out of it. There's a four tilt. He's off stage. What is he gonna do? Two frame? No. No. Oh. Gets hit by the up B. Yeah, he held down. On the you know what's scary is that Wolf's that kill percent. Yeah, but, but so is Nito. And there we go. Charlie takes it three one. Yeah, Charlie takes it three one. They're playing, uh, playing each other pretty quite a bit. But that's the end of the tournament, people. Oh my god. I I we have finished super early tonight. We finished before midnight. For how many players that we had, like this was a quick tournament. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of wild, but uh, it was great commentating with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was always a pleasure. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to go play a few friendlies before everyone leaves. Right.